Hey everyone, so quick video today. I wanted to make this in preparation for the holiday season because I know around the holidays, some people are picking up gaming computers, gaming laptops, and they're checking out modded Terraria for the first time. And I'm often asked, what are the smaller mods that I would recommend? So here is a full video talking about just that. So the version of Terraria we're talking about in today's video is going to be the alpha edition of Tmod Loader 1.4. But hey, if you want to check out 1.3.5 because you've yet to play Calamity or Thorium, all of these mods are available for that version and I would recommend them all the same. So the first mod we're going to be recommending is OmniSwing. Now OmniSwing is great at adding a little bit more accessibility to Terraria. If you're somebody that doesn't want to click endlessly throughout the game, Install OmniSwing, take a moment to configure it, and what it allows you to do is to swing endlessly without needing to click. So if you have any kind of issues with your hands, it's great for that. Next up is Recipe Browser. This is one that I've brought with me on every single modded adventure. And what it allows you to do is assign a key, and then once you hit that key, it opens up the Recipe Browser, which contains every single recipe for every single item in Terraria. And the best part is, if you pair this with other mods, the recipes from those mods automatically get entered into the browser. You could put an item in the top left and it shows you everything about it or you can simply search an item or just scroll through it. This is great if you don't want to keep opening up Wikipedia, say you're playing on a laptop. I can't recommend this enough. So another one from Jopo Jelly, this is the boss checklist. Now what this allows you to do is assign a key and then once you hit that key, it opens up the boss checklist with every single boss that you need to kill. Now I would even recommend this, even if you played Terraria a couple of times, mainly because it's so nice to head down into that checklist and watch everything get ticked off as you progress through the game. This is another mod that works really well with other mods, especially ones that add a lot of bosses. So if you're playing 1.3.5, and you're playing Calamity, it's kind of a must-have. Yeah, this is a great mod. So next up is Magic Storage, and I will say out of any mod that we feature today, Magic Storage probably adds the most quality of life. What it allows you to do is organize your entire chesting system into something that's super convenient. You have one area where you dump all of your items and you can retrieve them from there. And then you can add a separate module that allows you to do all of your crafting from one area. So instead of having a million chests and a million different crafting stations, you can really get organized with this. If you need an item, just search for it. If you need to know if certain items can be combined together, well, it simply tells you. Next up is Alchemist NPC. Now, this comes with two different variants. You have the full fat mod, which includes a couple of new items into the game, or the version that I often opt for, which is the light version, which simply adds all of the NPCs. So if you don't know what this is, it adds a couple of NPCs to Terraria that simply sell you potions. So if you're somebody that doesn't want to grow your own herbs or do a bunch of fishing, this is really handy. You have one NPC that sells you single use potions. You have another one that combines them for you, which is kind of handy. And then you have another one which will sell you a bunch of different ingredients if you can't be bothered to farm for them. Kind of like selling you a bunch of different fallen stars. If you played with this mod, it's kind of hard to not play with it. And if you don't like fishing in Terraria, I'd say it's a must have. Now, for this next one, there are a couple of variants, so I'll say maybe try and find one that works the best for you, but this is Ore Excavator, the 1.4 successor to Vein Miner. Now, what this allows you to do is simply mine ores incredibly fast. You hit a hotkey on your keyboard, or you can assign that hotkey just to the mining button itself, and it allows you to rapidly mine things like iron, copper, hellstone, and why you might want this is if you're not really into that thing. It's something that I thought was kind of cheesy at first when I first tried it a couple of years ago, but now, after playing it so many hours, I absolutely love it. And I will say, it feels just as fair, because you're only using it to mine ores, which you'd only be able to mine at that point anyway. So if you're mining a big bunch of iron, it just speeds it up. And for that, I love it. And to round up the video, which mod is this from? This one is great if you're somebody that plays with a lot of mods and you only want to stick to one modded item in particular. Say, for example, you're playing the clicker class and you get a new weapon, but you're not quite sure, did that weapon come from the clicker class or was it something extra that came with the alchemist NPC? So it adds a little bit of text and it just says, hey, I'm from this mod. 